Good afternoon, everybody. It's your old pal, Cappy, here. Um, I'm very sleepy. I just woke up. <laughs> um, today, we got another Monster Ultra. Or is it Ultra Monta? Monster? I don't know. You know, I, I've been calling these Monster Ultras, but it's not in the title. It's just every, like, subtitle is Ultra something. So, I don't know what I'm calling these. Um... This one is Ultra Paradise. I have not tried this one yet. Um, you know, as with all Ultra Monsters, Monster Ultras, they got these weird grips on the side. All of them. And this one's kind of neat. It's like a beach theme. You got like a toucan right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see even from here, but it's because it got like the water here. There's the sun. It's a toucan. And on this side, you got like a umbrella and stuff. And I can't really see on that side, just mountains or something like that. So I'm guessing this is like a Hawaiian flavor. I'm guessing going to be like a tropical flavor. But don't they already have like a tropical flavor? Uh, I don't know. Well, Ultra Fiesta was like pineapple-ish, right? Uh, so what's this going to be? We'll see. Is it going to be like a f tropical punch? Who knows? But all I know is... We've been spending most of our lives living in a monster energy paradise. <laughs> uh, the green is definitely a neat color. The lime green color. Uh, let's see. What does this say? Oh, there's a testimonial on the side. And it's kind of unique. Where is paradise? A chateau on the slopes. A steam slide ranch. on a Or a penthouse in the city. How about a private island where the white sand beach, turquoise water, and gentle tropical breeze? Monster Ultra Paradise. Pure, crisp, invigorating island flavors. It's like not a sentence. Kick back and enjoy. Paradise is whatever you find it. Wherever you can find it. Sorry. Uh, that one was a sentence. Unleash the Ultra Beast. So... They basically just show there's a shark in the water. That's not very paradise. <laughs> you don't want to go out in the water and get eaten by a shark. Um, so they set it up to be like, whoa, what is paradise? Is it all these things? Nope, it's the beach. <laughs> so, okay, thanks for your preconceived narrative there, monster. Um, hey, let's go look at the nutrition facts and ingredients. We got a uh, serving size is a single can, 10 calories, 0 grams total fat. 310 milligrams of sodium, 3 grams total carbohydrates, 0 grams sugar, 0 grams added sugar. Again, where is these carbs coming from? Then we got your 250% uh, niacin, 240% B6, 490% B12, and 400 B5 pantonic acid. And ingredients. Very, very, very tiny font there. And this is your warning there right if you could see it says uh don't drink this if you're sensitive to caffeine how much caffeine is in this can and whatnot that's that's you know that's par for the course but i like to point it out just in case you want to sue monster you can't sue them it's in the they warned you something like that i don't know go go ask a lawyer i'm not a lawyer ingredients include carbonated water citric acid taurine sodium citrate potassium sorbate Sorry, I was leaning on my oven there. <laughs> um, it says sodium, potassium sorbate, calcium, acyl, or cal, or sorry, caffeine, acylfame, potassium, sucralose, sodium benzoate, niacinamide, D, ooh, B3, uh, that's B3, D calcium pantotate. I didn't know if they were, they were showing like a different ingredient there or something like that. Uh, salt, L-carnite, L-tartrate, natural flavors, gum arabic, inositol, ester gum, pyridoxine hydrochloride, ooh, yellow 5 and blue 1 and cyanocobalamin. So this was going to have some color. So now the big difference between Monsters Zero Sugar and all that is, number one, it's inability to hide the sucralose flavor, and two... Um, it actually uses like art, artificial colors. So, health-wise, um, the Ultra Monsters or whatever Monster Ultra, 
They're not as good for you as, like, Bang, maybe. I mean, I, I, who knows how bad artificial colors and stuff are, really. Um, they're probably not great for you, but if you really wanted to steer away from them, Monster Ultra is not your best friend. I already rinsed the top of the can, so we're going to throw it in. Here's the top. Kind of neat. Still lime green color. Pouring it in. I'd say it's very translucent green. At least coming out of the can. When it settles, it's kind of takes the... Um, kind of looks like Baja Blast a little bit. Uh, no, nah, it's a bit more darker than that. Because Baja Blast kind of has a blue tint to it. This is way more green. It's actually like the color of this glass, to be honest. So that's why it looks so... Doesn't look very much. Let's have a smell. Coconut? Do I smell coconut? I smell something. It's we. It's it's not super fruity smelling. It's very earthy in scent. That's why I said coconut. So I'm not sure what this is. I hope it's not coconut. I don't like coconut. <laughs> All right, let's have a sip. Lime. 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 I was quite perplexed by this flavor. I, t I sip it, and it's just kind of sweet. And it doesn't do much other than that. Um, there's no juices or anything, so you can't cheat with the ingredients. I guess it might be a little bit of pina colada like but not quite because the there there might be a little bit of a taste of coconut in it but it's super minuscule to the point where I don't even mind it um the biggest takeaway from this is that it's sweet and then in the ending and aftertaste there's a bit of a lime kick to it and I'm confident in saying that it's lime, not lemon. It's got that distinctive lime taste to it. And the lime flavor is, it's pretty authentic tasting. That's why I was so confident in saying that it was distinctive. It's rather boring, to be quite honest. I mean, it's pretty easy sipping, so I guess you could sit on a beach and drink this, but... I don't like the smell. I really do not like the smell of this one. Like, it's not alluring or it's it's weird that's I'm, I'm not huge on the smell if this was like a pina colada fine um this one does not have awful sucralose aftertaste thankfully somehow um yeah that's it's neat it's it's neat in that respect maybe maybe the solution was coconut if it has coconut in it I'm not sure. Would I buy this flavor again? Probably not. Mostly because I just don't like the smell. It's it's a very strange smell to me. Taste-wise, it really doesn't do anything for me that other flavors don't do already. Like, if I wanted more of like a tropical taste, I'd go get Mango Loco. But this one's not awful. And it does give me hope that you know the other ultra monsters can fight that sucralose flavor because this one sure did so that's a big plus for this uh i'm gonna have to give this one we'll give it we'll, we'll we'll give it a tight end who can't really catch so well but he's decent at blocking out of rad